This theater used to be a movie palace. The former Warner Theater closed in 1995 and sat dark and empty for decades. Well, now the symphony has restored it as a performance venue to last for decades to come. The Warner Theater was built in 1930. A palace in its day, it opened at a time when movie going in America was at its peak. But times and tastes changed. The Warner and many theaters like it closed or were torn down. The Warner escaped the wrecking ball, but non-use took a toll. It's extraordinary that they could do it because it did look quite uh, run down. The symphony purchased it in 2017 and began a grand restoration. It took millions of dollars in fundraising, years of work, and sometimes painstaking renovation. Engineers even moved a wall 35 feet. Milwaukee is one of those places where architecture truly has uh, an innovative past as well as future. Restored to its former glory and with a modern new addition, it reopened as the Bradley Symphony Center in October. Its revival could lead to a revival along Wisconsin Avenue. We know from history and many other major cities that when you put a great hall or a great performing arts center somewhere, it's going to lift up and lighten up the neighborhood that it's in. The theater's concert hall, the Allen Bradley Hall, has about 1,600 seats.